Hey YouTube, what's Crackalackin? It's Clem the Kraken, and I'm here to do a little bit of a different video than what I normally do. I mean, like, all of my videos are kind of chatty versus, like, you know, storytelling, but this one's a little different as in it might not be something that you would necessarily expect from me. Um, and that is to talk a little bit about my relationship with the idea of fashion. Um, one of my New Year's goals was to give myself the time and the permission, or lack, or yeah, permission to kind of explore my own sense of style, my own sense of fashion the things that I like to wear. And one of the things I said in that video is that I had an a interesting relationship with it. If we start at the beginning, um, I went to a Catholic school where we had to wear uniforms. Um, the uniform was a royal blue sweater, a white, butt, a white shirt with a collar, um, and then either like dark navy blue pants or a blue and green plaid skirt um, and so for the first you know nine years of my life I didn't choose what I wore every day you know every day I wore essentially the same thing it changed as I got older I started wearing the pants more than the skirt I had different styles of skirts I had blouses versus you know polos um, there were different kinds of the royal blue sweater, but for the most part, it was the same outfit every day. So I didn't really have the opportunity to choose my own clothes. And when I did, if it was the weekends or a party or something else, um, my clothes actually were mostly hand-me-downs from um, family friends or cousins. So even when I kind of got to wear my own thing, it was never anything that I necessarily chose for myself all of my clothes came from someone else. Um, and so growing up like that made me very, well, first of all, I was never really interested in clothes or fashion to begin with. Like I, it was never my pursuit. I never um, watched or looked at Barbie as like a fashion icon or looked at, you know, whatever else I grew up with, the Bratz or anybody on TV and said, oh, I want to dress like that. Um, so fashion was never really at the forefront of my mind, and I considered myself a tomboy-ish kind of person growing up. I played a lot of sports, I did, um, I played, like, the violin, and I did a bunch of, like, I read a lot, so I considered myself kind of to be that stereotype of not like other girls. Um, and part of that, for me, probably somewhere in there, was not caring about what I wear, what I wore, what I looked like, and just kind of, you know, going with the flow. I wore whatever I wanted to, and it wasn't always flattering, and it wasn't always, you know, nice, and I just didn't really, like, develop any sense for what I looked good in, what colors looked good on me, what kinds of cuts fit me particularly well. Um, and then, when I hit high school, I obviously didn't have, well, not obviously, because some places you do, but I went to a school that didn't make you wear a uniform. It had a dress code, obviously, but no uniform. Um, so I had the opportunity to now dress myself, and I was kind of getting to that age where we weren't receiving clothes from these people um, around me anymore because either they had grown up to the point where they had no clothes left to give or we had run out. Because we used to literally have boxes, like plastic bins of clothes that would just like be handed down and it would be like labeled, you know, high school or like 12 to 13 or, you know, uh, 8 to 10. And like I would go through them and then my sister would go through them. And like after a while, it just got to the point where there was no more clothes. That after that while happened to be high school for me. So when I went to high school, I actually went shopping for myself for the first time, and I had no concept, like I said, of what I looked good in, what fit me well, what colors I looked at, 
good in. So I had to rely a lot on my mom. And so uh, high school involved a lot of wearing colored jeans because we weren't allowed to wear blue denim. Um, a lot of t-shirts and sweatshirts and kind of recycling the same outfit over and over and over again. Um, there was, my freshman year was probably the year I experimented the most, so that was also the year I got some different dresses to wear and some long sleeve shirts to wear um, and some like big like sweaters to wear, but I didn't really have like a style per se. Um, and frankly, you know, you're a freshman in high school, not a lot of people have a style. A lot of times it's in development still, or they have something that they want to look like, but they don't really have like a set style. So I wasn't too concerned. Um, and I basically wore what amounted to a pair of jeans, uh, as the years went on, more and more black jeans, um, a t-shirt and a sweatshirt every day. And I would wear like the same sweatshirt for, you know, a week straight because I didn't feel like it ever got dirty. Um, the only time I changed clothes would be for softball. And at softball, I always wear the same things, you know, sweats or softball pants and then a t-shirt. And then, you know, on game days, we had a uniform to wear. So like my outfits didn't really vary. Um, and when I got to college, I kind of went through... I guess it, I guess you'd call it like a period of like self realization maybe where I kind of decided that I was tired of the pe person that I was in like high school and um grade school and I wanted to you know become myself more like I, it was at that point where I kind of stopped defining myself as the girl who got bullied in grade school. Um, it was at that time where I was like, I kind of don't want to wear the same thing for the rest of my life. And I didn't really know, like, what to do with that. Um, and so when I went to college, I took, you know, my college, I took the clothes that I had with me. So a lot of it was jeans, t-shirts, sweatshirts. Um, so I'd say my first year of college, I pretty much wore the same thing that I wore all through high school. And it kind of carried on for the second year, too. I didn't really mix it up at all. But this year, this summer, I went through and cleaned out my closet because Steph was staying with us um, for the summer. And we really had to, like, clean our room. And because I can never half-ass anything, I deep cleaned our room. Like I went through and I got rid of stuff and we took like seven bags of stuff to Goodwill. And a lot of that was actually clothes because going to college kind of, especially if you're going out of state, if you're not living at home or you're not close to home, going to college kind of helps you realize what you actually use and what you don't. So there was a lot of things that I had left home for like two years in a row while I was at college, which to me just indicated that it was not something I was interested in, not something I was going to wear. And so I got rid of it because why would I keep it around? Um, and so I got rid of a lot of stuff and I ended up like actually not having clothes. Like I basically didn't have any pants that fit me. A lot of my pants were getting torn through. And so when I, before I went back to school, um, when I came back from the summer, before I went back to school, I actually went shopping with my sister. Now my sister, she has gone about it differently. While she was still in grade school, she also wore a uniform because we went to the same grade school. But once she hit high school, and I think part of it is because I, I don't want to suppose anything, frankly, but she started developing her own sense of style way before I did. She essentially would refuse to wear like half of the clothes that I wore because she just wasn't interested. She didn't like them. They didn't, they didn't fit what she wanted. She like wanted to go shopping more and more often. Um, she and my mom 
never fought over clothes, but sometimes they would have a disagreement. My sister liked one thing, my mom didn't. My mom liked something, my sister didn't. And so she started to develop her own sense of style. Um, I would say she's only a sophomore now, so I would say maybe even seventh or eighth grade, she was starting to kind of realize what she wanted. And she's gone through iterations, as anybody does when developing something. But she started, she like started understanding what she liked, what she didn't, what fit her well, what things, what colors look good on her, that kind of thing. Again, like way before I did. And so she went, we went shopping together because I needed new clothes and I want, I wanted to, which is surprising because I never want to go shopping. And she helped me pick some things that she thought I would like. So, for example, we went to get me jeans because I had none, and instead of buying me, you know, six pairs of black jeans, she bought me, but she didn't buy anything. But I ended up buying different cuts of jeans and different colors of jeans. So I have some light blue and some dark blue, and I do have a pair of black jeans. And I ended up getting some ripped jeans. And one of the most important things about all of these pants is that they were high-waisted, which is something I had never worn before. And, like, that kind of started the snowball. We also, you know, looked at some shirts, looked at some dresses. I've worn a lot of the things that we picked out together many, many times. Um, and she's kind of helping me, like, develop that sense of style. And part of that, for me, is confidence. Like, I need the confidence to be able to wear what I want to wear. Um, but also, it's just, you know, having someone that I trust, my sister, able to understand what I'm looking for and able to guide me through finding things and for me to be able to give her feedback to say, you know, I don't like that, it's not comfortable, I don't... I'm not really into, like, she really likes crop tops. So, you know, when we go shopping, she's like, what about this? What about this? And I have to be like, I don't really like crop tops, but I like this. And so, um, it's, it's been an interesting change for me because I'm starting to become more interested in the idea of fashion. Like, I'm definitely not a fashionista. I don't, really see myself becoming one. I don't want to go out and just purchase all the clothes. I still don't really know what looks good on me. My default color is black or blue because it matches my eyes. Um, but I am t starting to discover, you know, things that my closet was lacking that I now have. So like for Christmas, my aunt got me um, like a slouchy cardigan because I was actually telling her kind of this story of of me discovering that these are clothes that I like and you know I have like this sweater my sister got me for Christmas and it's just a sweater like um it, it's not it's too small to be like a sweater sweater like I don't think I'd be able to put this over something but it's like a nice sweater shirt and this isn't something that I normally buy for myself I was not if I was going to buy myself a sweater I generally get it oversized and you know very like with a hood and pockets and stuff like that but this is just like a really nice sweater shirt and so like I'm starting to realize that like I have a look that I want to one day strive for. In my case, I call it casual punk. I don't know if that's actually a thing. I'll put a picture up of, like, kind of my idea of what that aesthetic is. Um, but it's, it's an interesting dynamic learning how to, like, dress myself and what, what I consider essentials in my closet. Like, one of those... Um, is black jeans and then also absolutely 100% boots. Like, I am obsessed with boots. Um, combat boots, like ankle boots, heeled boots, flat boots, like any kind of boots. I, 
Those are like, boots are like one of my go-to pieces of clothing. I'm like totally obsessed with boots. And so like, you know, I can build outfits around that. I can get boots that are a different color. Like I have a pair of um, red boots. And while red isn't something I would necessarily wear, they make for a good like statement piece or a, pe a, a color block that enhances the whole outfit. I'm starting to talk myself more into wearing jewelry, which I have a lot and I wish to wear it more, but I usually don't remember. Like, for example, I'm not wearing earrings right now. So, like, earrings, I have so many pairs of earrings. And they're one of the things that I have to break my habit of is considering something, try, trying to label something as fancy or not. Because I always considered earrings, you wear earrings when you're trying to dress up, when you're trying to look fancy. But that's not always the case. And I have a lot of earrings that are extremely dorky. You know, things like Lego bricks, or I have ones that um, a friend got that are like nose for our two earrings. And those aren't formal or fancy. You wouldn't wear those to a fancy dinner. But like, it, it's hard for me to break the idea that I can wear earrings outside of, you know, going to a fancy dinner. Like, I don't need to go to a fancy dinner. I can just wear a pair of earrings. So part of my my goal for this year is to start exploring that a little more. To take the people that I have confidence in to help me define my style like my sister or my friends. Um, and like have them take me shopping and show me what should I be looking for, what things look nice on me, what, you know, what do they consider staples in their wardrobe that maybe I could also adapt into mine. Um, things like, you know, a sweater shirt like this or a piece of jewelry or a, you know, slouchy cardigan. Just to wear things that make me feel confident. Like, for example, the high-waisted jeans. I didn't really know this before I started wearing them because I had never tried them out, but I feel like, and I've actually heard this feedback from a couple of people, that high-waisted jeans kind of, since they go higher than, like, I don't know, since they go higher than normal jeans, for example, um, they kind of, I don't know if this is for everyone, but they straighten me out and they make me like feel taller and straighter and more presentable. And then I feel more powerful and more confident in what I'm wearing, the outfit that I've created. I put on, you know, my boots and I feel my combat boots and I feel like a badass or I put on a pair of like heel boots and I feel, you know, like a, a powerful businesswoman. Just little things like that, that make you feel more than just what you are. Because it allows you to feel more confident leaving the house. And granted, you don't have to care about the way you look when you're leaving the house. There, you sh In fact, we should live in a society where you shouldn't care what you look like when you're leaving the house. You know, jobs and schools can have things like dress, dress codes, but on a regular day, if you go out, you know, with your hair in a messy bun and a pair of sweats, you shouldn't be looked at any different than the person who decided to go out in their, you know, little black dress and a pair of four-inch heels. So the, I, so the, the, I guess what I'm going for this year with this goal of putting more time and effort into my style and my fashion and developing that is just making me feel more confident in what I'm wearing giving me the ability to shop for myself and to know that what I'm looking at in a store is something that I feel confident at being able to go to a place and say, hey, you know, I like that and I want to try it on and not having any doubts of like, well, you know, maybe it's not for me, like maybe it's not for my type or maybe my it's not my fashion style like just being able to 
to give myself the freedom of wearing whatever I want, whatever makes me feel comfortable, not confining myself to a pair of jeans, a t-shirt, and a sweatshirt every day because I can't figure out anything else. Because that's the thing is like I don't mind wearing the t-shirt, the jeans, and the sweatshirt because I think it's comfortable. And it's an easy outfit to throw together and it doesn't even matter what t-shirt you're wearing because you can't see it anyways. It's about layering. So if it's a place where you're gonna, you know, you're gonna go between hot and cold a lot, like my high school, half of the building was like a million degrees and the other half of the building was freezing all the time. So it makes it really easy to figure out, well, if I wear a sweatshirt, then, you know, it doesn't matter. But then I'd be caught in a situation where like, maybe I wanted to wear a nice skirt or, you know, a dress or something. And I didn't have anything nice to put over it. I was stuck. I was kind of put, I was trapping myself in the corner of if I wanted to wear something maybe not appropriate for the weather, like a short sleeve dress in the middle of winter, I had no options because I didn't have any cardigans. I didn't have any nice sweatshirt or nice sweatshirts to go over a dress um, and keep me warm. And so then I was stuck in this like corner of I have to be able to wear a sweatshirt, so I have to dress myself down to fit the sweatshirt. Um, and I just kind of grew out of that. I didn't like it anymore. I didn't like the fact that all I wore every day was the same thing and I wanted to expand my horizons and wear new things and wear different things. Um, so that that's kind of like where I'm at. That's That's what my relationship has become where I started with, you know, wearing a uniform and hand-me-downs every day to kind of, you know, going shopping by my, going shopping for myself for the first time. And then kind of into this, I'm starting to realize what I like, what I don't like, what I think I look good in. And moving forward from there to, to thing to the to the style that I hope to one day achieve the style that really kind of speaks to me on a clothing level um and kind of like building my wardrobe to get to that point getting rid of the things that I don't wear the things that I'm not going to wear and replacing them with things that I feel confident and comfortable with um so yeah that's that's kind of my journey with this um I hope you guys liked the video. I know this one was different, a little bit more talky, not much like, I don't know. It's for a certain type of people, you know? You either like this stuff or you don't, you either care or you don't. Um, but I hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, if you have questions or advice, um, or suggestions for other videos, leave them in the comments. Um, I well, This is one of those things that I think I'll try and keep you guys updated on. I have, this is obviously something in development, so it's going to either change or adapt, or I'm gonna get more clothes, or I'm going to find a particular style that I feel super comfortable in. Maybe you'll see a difference in the way I present myself for my videos. I know you can only see like the top half of me, but maybe you'll see different outfits, outfits that look better, um, more jewelry, I don't know. But I hope that you like the video and that um, this, is a, this is a topic that interests multiple people um, and maybe we'll visit it again uh, and see, you know, how it's changed and a year or six months or whatever um and uh and yeah so i'll see you guys in the next video um again leave suggestions advice tips questions any of that stuff leave it in the comments and uh, i will see you guys next time bye bye